In this tutorial, let's see how we can simulate cloth interactions with rigid bodies using the newer options in RPD Lab 1.6. Let's head to Demo Scenes. So let's select the cloth scene and let's open scene. And let's play the simulation. So this is the rigid body interaction with the cloth. So let's see how we can simulate this. Let's open a new file and let's delete the default cube and let's add a mesh plane. Now let's scale the plane. So let's give it some dimensions and let's apply scale. Now let's head to the RPD lab add-on and under prepare tab of the fracture module, let's head to soft bodies. So here, in order to create chunks, we need some resolution on this plane. Now we only have four vertices. So let's um, get to edit mode and subdivide to create more vertices for resolution. And let's increase the number of cuts to 15. So we can generate points at these vertices. So let's go to object mode and under soft bodies, fill objects, let's create chunks. And let's select the shape as spheres and mode as points. And there we go. Now the total number of instances are 289. And once we apply all, we will have these chunks in the target collection. So let's click on apply all. And there we go. Here's our target collection with the chunks. Now let's head to physics and let's head to RBD. And let's take a look. There we go. So now the rigid bodies are added to these chunks. Now let's head to top view and let's select these chunks and let's invert the selection. And let's set these as passive. And let's click on update. And there we go. Now let's head to deactivation. And let's click on Start Deactivated to deactivate rigid body at the start of the simulation. And the rigid bodies are activated only when it comes in contact with another rigid body. So let's click on Update. And right, there we go. Looks good. Now let's click on Constraints. Let's head to the Source Filter Collections. And with between chunks selected, let's create constraint group. Now here, let's select the preset cloth and click on update. And here let's also disable collisions for faster calculations and click on update. And we don't see anything in the simulation because start deactivated is toggled. So let's um, add a rigid body. So let's add a UV sphere. Let's uh, shade smooth. And to this, let's head to the motion module and let's set RBD and increase the mass to 75 kg. And let's take a look. There we go. That's the cloth rigid body interaction we were looking for. Now that we have the simulation, let's head to the metal soft module and create mesh deform. Now for the original collection, let's click on the original plane. And for the visualization, let's select the original surface. There we go. Now this is for the points and this is for the surface. And let's take a look. And let's uh, toggle the overlays off. And there we go. Looks good. Now here, if we take a look, we have a small problem that we can solve using modifiers. So first, we can increase the resolution by adding a subdivision surface modifier. And if we take a look, here we see a gap between the cloth to the sphere. And this is because this sphere actually lands 
on top of these points. So when we add a mesh, it passes through the midpoint of these points. So we need to raise the midpoint of the plane. So the way we can do that is by adding a displace modifier on the original plane. So let's click on the visualization for the plane and let's add a displace modifier. There we go. As we can see, the plane has been displaced. Now with the mid-level at 0.5, let's reduce the strength. And there we go. We can actually decrease it a little more to something like 0.4. And there we go. The spear lands on top of the cloth. Now let's um, duplicate these spears. And let's change the mass a little bit. Let's say 100, let's say 50. And let's take a look. So that's the cloth rigid body interactions we are looking for. If we want more resolution like in the demo scene for the cloth, then we can actually increase the number of subdivisions before preparing the scene. So let's head to the points. And here we can see the number of points are a lot more. So as we increase the resolution of the subdivision initially, we get a better cloth rigid body interactions. So let's see how to get more resolution in this example. Let's head to edit mode. Let's click on subdivide and let's add the number of cuts to something like 30. And let's get to object mode, RBD lab, prepare, soft bodies, fill objects, create chunks, and let's select spheres and points. And total instances are 1024. Apply all. There we go. This is the new collection. And let's head to physics, RBD. Let's um, invert the selection. Passive, set passive, update. And let's start deactivated, update. There we go. Let's add constraint. Create constraint group. And let's head to cloth and let's disable collisions and update. And let's add a UV sphere. Shade smooth. Motion. Set RBD. 75 cages. And let's see. There we go. We can see the cloth a bit better. And let's head to Metal Soft, create mesh deform, and let's select the original plane and turn the visualization to show the plane. And let's add subdivision modifier. And let's also add a displace modifier. Let's take a look. There we go. This is the cloth with more resolution. So that's how we can simulate cloth rigid body interactions using RBD Lab 1.6. Let's set the end frame to something like 
230. And let's play the simulation. And there we go. Now that we have the simulation, we can click on cache to bake, which is current cache to bake. And there we go. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you and stay tuned for more tutorials.